Released in 1972, Jeremiah Johnson takes audiences on a journey through the rugged landscapes of the American frontier. The film follows a former soldier who seeks solace in the mountains, striving for a quiet life away from civilization. As the plot unfolds, viewers encounter a mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments that keep them hooked. Ever wondered about lesser-known facts or anecdotes surrounding this classic? The movie harbors intriguing details that might surprise even the most devoted fans. When was the first time you watched this cinematic gem? Share your experience in the comments below. Now, let's dive into your most cherished memory or personal connection with Jeremiah Johnson. Whether it's a tale of laughter, shock, or sentimentality, we'd love to hear your stories. Drop your memories in the comments and let's celebrate this timeless piece of cinema together. Stay tuned as there's much more to explore about Jeremiah Johnson. Funny, shocking, and sad facts await, so keep watching for an enriching cinematic experience. In the realm of classic cinema, Jeremiah Johnson stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of the Western genre. Released in 1972, the film has garnered admiration for over four decades, captivating audiences with stunning cinematography and a narrative that unfolds at a methodically deliberate pace. The storyline follows a man who seeks a life in the untamed wilderness, showcasing the raw beauty of nature as an uncredited character in itself. The minimalistic dialogue among a short list of characters allows the narrative to effortlessly progress, culminating in a freeze-frame shot that symbolizes the protagonist's maturation and triumph over challenges. Set against the backdrop of the rugged outdoors, the movie manages to convey a sense of realism that transcends the need for factual accuracy. For those who appreciate the art of imagining and dreaming through cinema, the film offers a powerful and inspirational experience, portraying life in the wild as a viable alternative and underscoring the harmony between humans and nature. While some may critique the protagonist's reliance on guns, the movie subtly challenges this choice. The wilderness dweller, portrayed by Robert Redford, is not driven by an anti-Native American sentiment, but rather operates by his own rules, akin to those of the tribes surrounding him. The film's final scene serves as a satisfying rebuttal to misconceptions about the character's motivations. In contemplating the solitary lifestyle, one might question the necessity of going it alone for survivalists or wilderness enthusiasts. The movie subtly touches on this aspect, portraying the protagonist's eventual companionship with a woman and a boy. However, the choice of companions is not entirely of his own making, prompting reflection on the role of extended families in such unconventional lifestyles. Despite these considerations, these musings on the characters' choices do not detract from the film's overall quality. The breathtaking scenery, perfect pacing, and a fantastic soundtrack contribute to its allure. Whether one dreams of freedom, a life in the wilderness, or organic living, Jeremiah Johnson is a must-watch. In conclusion, this cinematic masterpiece transcends time, offering a glimpse into a life shaped by the untamed frontier. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to evoke a sense of connection with nature and the human spirit. The movie remains a captivating journey into the wild, leaving a lasting impression on those who dare to imagine a life beyond the confines of modernity. Amidst the production challenges of Jeremiah Johnson, Robert Redford's determination to capture the essence of the American frontier led to a clash with the studio. Insisting on filming in Utah rather than in Elk, a soundstage, Redford's vision prevailed, backed by director Sidney Pollack, who invested his own funds to bridge the financial gap for on-location shooting. Del Bolton, portraying a chief's daughter and a mountain man's wife, underwent guidance from a flathead, ensuring authenticity in her portrayal. This commitment to realism extended beyond the cast, as director Sidney Pollack, producer Joe Wizen, and art director Ted Haworth collectively traversed over 26,000 miles, meticulously scouting locations that would breathe life into the film's rugged narrative. In the vast wilderness depicted in Jeremiah Johnson, every detail was considered, from the choice of filming location to the cultural nuances in character portrayal. This meticulous approach not only brought the characters to life, but also added layers of authenticity to the cinematic experience. In summary, the dedication of the cast and crew, from Redford's insistence on Utah's rugged landscapes to the cultural guidance provided to the actors, underscores the commitment to portraying the raw beauty of the untamed wilderness in Jeremiah Johnson. In the rugged expanse of Utah's untamed wilderness, Jeremiah Johnson unfolded as a cinematic ode to the American frontier. 
Robert Redford, embodying the role of a former soldier turned mountain man, went beyond acting by performing his own stunts. Notably, he ensured that the stunt guild was compensated to prevent any stuntmen from losing work. Adding a layer of authenticity, scores of American Indians from northern Utah joined the production as actors, extras, and background artists. The film's commitment to realism reached new heights with the construction of a complete flathead Indian village in a remote mountain area. Remarkably, this locale, famed for prehistoric dinosaur discoveries, became the backdrop for the unfolding narrative. Behind the scenes, the clash between Redford's vision and studio preferences became apparent. Opting for on-location shooting in Utah over a controlled L, a soundstage, Redford's determination prevailed. Director Sidney Pollack, aligning with Redford, even invested personal funds to bridge financial gaps, emphasizing a commitment to capturing the essence of the American frontier. Del Bolton, who portrayed a chief's daughter and a mountain man's wife, underwent guidance from a flathead to ensure an authentic portrayal. The dedication extended beyond the cast as the director, producer, and art director collectively traversed over 26,000 miles, meticulously scouting locations. Every aspect, from filming location to cultural nuances, was considered to breathe life into the rugged narrative. In the vast wilderness depicted in Jeremiah Johnson, the minutiae of detail combined with the commitment of the cast and crew underscored an unwavering dedication to portraying the raw beauty of the untamed frontier. As the story of survival, solitude, and companionship unfolded, the film carved its place in the annals of American cinema, leaving an indelible mark on those who dared to explore the wild. Jeremiah Johnson, set against the harsh backdrop of Utah's untamed wilderness, not only captures the essence of the American frontier, but also reflects the dedication of its cast and crew. The decision to film on or near Robert Redford's Utah property, spanning 600 acres, adds a layer of authenticity. Despite facing freezing temperatures during the shoot, with cases of frostbite and illnesses, Redford's familiarity with Utah's rugged winters contributed to the film's realistic portrayal of the unforgiving environment. Trapper John Johnston's burial, initially in Los Angeles, witnessed a poignant shift to Cody, Wyoming, after the film's release. Redford's involvement as a pallbearer at the reburial ceremony, attended by 2,000 people, speaks to the emotional impact of the movie and its resonance with audiences. The clash between Redford's vision and studio preferences becomes apparent in the production challenges. Sidney Pollack, aligning with Redford, invested personal funds to facilitate on-location shooting in Utah, emphasizing a commitment to capturing the raw beauty of the American frontier. Del Bolton, portraying a chief's daughter, received guidance from a flathead to ensure authenticity, reflecting the meticulous approach taken in every aspect of the film. The dedication to realism extends to the construction of a complete flathead Indian village in a remote mountain area. This locale, known for prehistoric dinosaur discoveries, becomes a striking backdrop for the unfolding narrative. Redford's commitment to performing his own stunts and compensating the stunt guild adds another layer of authenticity. In the vast wilderness depicted in Jeremiah Johnson, the minutiae of detail, combined with the commitment of the cast and crew, underscore an unwavering dedication to portraying the raw beauty of the untamed frontier. As the story of survival, solitude, and companionship unfolds, the film leaves an enduring mark on those who dare to explore the wild, showcasing a timeless connection with nature and the human spirit. 